kitty kisses other than when they lick you is when they look straight at you right at you and they close their eyes ever so slowly just a little little close I always say those are kitty kisses Hutter just gave me a a kitty kiss <laughs> oh gosh who could not love that We love him. Okay. Would you like to try that little bag there, buddy? That's my T.W. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got we got a box here. This one's Claudius. He's got his name under his tail, you know. <laughs> okay, you've got to get down, Possum. This one's Possum. Isn't he handsome? Time to go, buddy. And this is from Amazon. We had a brand new UPS driver tonight. That was kind of kind of nice to meet him. That's a good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, good. There you go, baby. Let me see if we've got... Got a white paper. Oh, it's a Carolina ash on? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, we have three cases of friskies. This one's the variety pack. Friskies, there's 24 in this one. I'm afraid to look because I don't think we have a paper. I don't think so. Oh no. Somebody please claim it. Please claim it. I don't think, and I don't have any notes up there that gives me a little um, heads up on one. So we got uh, this. That one is a 24 pack, and there's two of these. These are. 32 packs. Okay, I can't do that. These are 32 packs and they're the seafood. Both of these are pâtés. So, do we have somebody that will claim this? Uh-oh. Well, if you're on there, let Carolina Ash know so that we, we know. And, uh, I so appreciate this. I started counting up how many cans of food we use a day. I had to stop because it's like I don't think I really want to know too many. Thank you. Whoever did our thank you for um, the donation. We we have to have food or the kitties would walk out on me, you know. It's okay, Potter. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for whoever did that. I appreciate it. Oh, maybe Deb? Deb? One, 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 one? Okay. Oh, well, Deb, if that's from you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, there's no card, and if you know you sent it, then I would say it is. Adult? Hmm? Oh, just a friend. Oh. And so, in case you didn't know it, Deb, you sent three cases and a toy. A box for the kitty to play to play in, and then we have um, you guys always humble me with all your gifts. I'm just always so happy about it. 
And we got another postcard. Oh, you know what? I try not to look at these until we get them because it's fun that way. This one is from Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is, I know this Scott. This is Scott, Amanda and Scott in Sydney. These folks uh, were with us with for the Catathon also. And uh, I'll show you that picture. Isn't that awesome? This says, uh, one of Sydney's world-famous landmarks is the Opera House that stands on Benalong Point on Sydney Harbor. The highest peak of its tiled shell shells rise 67 meters above the surface of Sydney Harbor. Isn't that an awesome building? That is really cool. Yeah, thank you. I remember Scott and Amanda. They were with us um, during our um, during the Canathon. Says Jackie and volunteers. I just wanted to let you know how much we've enjoyed the cam over the last 18 months or so. Um, some of this, the postage, you know, when it goes through everything, kind of mars things up, so I don't can't always tell. But it says also uh, to thank Race for taking a picture of the plaque and uploading it to Flickr. We showed our furry son, Julian, his plaque. Yeah. Scott and Amanda and Julian has a plaque on our outside of the building out here for the new new area. He held his tail high, turned around, and walked out of the room. I hope he appreciated the inside, but I've known him for 11 years, so I don't hold much hope for that. I guess you have to pick your battles. How true. We appreciate it, though, and have so much respect for all you do. Thank you for the many hours of happiness. Cheers, Amanda and Scott and Sydney. Thank you. Um, I had people that was visiting today and they were looking at our cork board and asked me what that was. How did all those postcards get on there from all over the world? So if you've got a postcard from your where you live, um, please, please send it. Oh, gosh, Amanda and Scotty, I love your, your stamp, too. It's got... I don't, I can't quite tell if it's a little fox, maybe. I know your mammals are a little different than ours. That's pretty cool. So thank you. And I, I, I've had more fun with these postcards. And then this one. Oh, oh can I wake you up? Oh, this is from Lex. Lex um, in Lima. Lex adopted. Remember, she adopted a couple cats from us. Oh, Rocco and Sweetums, remember that? Look at this, our second Christmas card we've gotten so far. Yeah, Rock's adopt or uh, Les adopted two uh, black and whites from us. It says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays from the Gossers, Lex, Rocco, and Sweetums. No, I, I take that back. She adopted Sweetums. Uh, she already had Rocco. And one of the pictures. <laughs> One of the pictures has a uh, Santa hat on both of them, but the small picture down here, Lex is holding the kitties, and one tries to sprint up away from her, and she's got a face of surprise on her. But the other one's right beside her, pretty Christmas tree. Thank you, Lex. Give you kitties a big hug for me. We're gonna put, we're gonna start our hallway over here of Christmas cards now, and uh, add to add to it. But this one will go for our uh, cork board out there. Uh, I just wanted to go over my notes with you first and then I'll go over your questions. And first off, I have to tell you some really cool news. news. It has nothing to do with kitties, but it has to do with my mom and my dad. I walked in the house today and my dad was sitting, he's got this um, go-kart wheel thing that he has to use to help to, for him to be able to walk has a seat on there when he gets tired and he usually is always sitting um, in his chair uh, relax, uh, laying back he was sitting up in his wheelie chair and he looked really pretty good I was so thrilled and 
talked to him, we, we jabbered, and it was just awesome. So we changed his meds last week, and I can see where it's making a much better difference in him. So I was happy. Kathy's here. She's our painter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kathy needs a kitty fix. Yeah. Are you painting or? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yep. Cool. Um, I wanted to also let you know that Siri, the Greg Dow kitty cam. I think it was kitty cam. Thought maybe for me too. She's probably a little combo is uh, still here and actually we moved her up here today and just in case you guys didn't see her I'll show you she's right here and patience is in and she's actually doing really good oh it's okay now you know she's a real big um petter older girl no no she's a big petter girl she likes to be petted She's not always the biggest on um, being held, but heck, that's okay. And I've been really pleased today because she's been over here right right along the edge here watching us and um, acting really comfortable here. So uh, the adoption that I'm hoping for has not gone through all the way yet. I'm holding up yet on it, but um, I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. She is a pretty girl. and. She's a nice, a nice kitty. We worked on her eyes today. She's got some drainage. Uh, apparently, she's had that for quite a while, so we're going to try to get control of that. And she has um, some ear infections on both ears, and we can help her with that, too. So she's a good girl. And we did have two adoptions today. Not sure if, oops, yeah, the kitties in this little box have no privacy, do they? I'll try to hide it. <laughs> Um, we had two adoptions today. The fella that was here this yesterday afternoon came back. I know who he was now that I got to see him. A real nice fella. Um, has a wife, a five-year-old son, and I think the other kid or child is a boy too, I think, and that one's nine months old. Uh, good cat owners, really good cat owners. They donated a cat furniture for us yesterday also. It's a lot like this one, but it doesn't have the top one on, so it's a, a poor here or an old spray new. He adopted a cat from us like five years ago named Blitzen, a long-haired white cat. Oh, I remember. Do you remember the Blitzen? Blitzen? Yeah. Really pretty cat. And so he came in with the intentions of adopting um, Bumblebee, and then he asked me if Bumblebee had any friends, which, of course, I have to say yes to that. So he decided that um, Bumblebee should have a friend, and that was happy. So I'm real happy with that situation. And one of you webcammers I thought was kind of cute said uh, that they hoped they would be be happy. <laughs> I thought that was cute, be happy. Um, Colleen, she's our Alaskan friend. She might be on tonight. Just called me. Uh, she's the one who's going to be adopting Weasley and Donna. And, oops, the date is, I wrote it down in case you're on Colleen. Uh, it's January 20th. She'll arrive in Fort Wayne, which is like an hour away. And then uh, she'll be here that day to visit. And then the next day she'll be here to visit everybody. And then the next day, Sunday, she'll be leaving early in the morning and going back to Alaska. She'll arrive back in Alaska the same day. So um, we'll have them all ready. They'll be neutered. In December, as the rest of these guys that are not neutered will be all done in, de in December, which is tomorrow starting. And we will also give them their rabies vaccine and have their flight papers, their health records all ready to go. KW, just in case you were wondering, here's Colleen, um, is, is uh, doing better. You know, he popped that neck open so bad. Today we looked at his ears. 
there's there his ears are as clean as clean can be. His teeth are fine. We looked them all over. Couldn't find anything that is the problem. So um, put some ointment back on that and put his collar, his small collar back on. I looked at it tonight and it looks a lot better. Remo is doing good. Somebody asked me about Remo and he's doing really good. <laughs> yes, Carolina Ash, I think we should fatten them up and make little sweaters for them. Jimmy's room has an update, and Paul and, um, you're picking up too I'm sorry. I know when we're so close to the cam here, it picks up everything and we drowned, drowned each other out. I'm so sorry. Um, hey, Kathy, Kathy, here. CJ Cat said, if Kathy needs another scene, how about her more hits left? That would be cute. You know, we've got that other door, too, in June's room. That whole thing over there. Okay, so that's the first thing. We'll, I'll get you there, E-Bear. That was cute. That would be cute. Her more hits left. <laughs> She's going to write it down, CJ. Um, June's room. Paul and... Uh, Jimmy, our new fella, has been working on that uh, quite a bit today, and they've got uh, about half of it done, I would say, and uh, it looks so nice. It looks really nice. It, I guess part of the reason, too, that we do this is more for the cleaning abilities on it. It just takes so much less time to clean, and we're all for shortening our time on cleaning, but uh, making sure that it's done, done just as well. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to finish that up tomorrow. Kitty City is high and dry now. Thank goodness. I'm not kidding you. I don't think I've ever seen so much rain come down at one time. Um, that was a huge amount of rain. Our rivers are, are completely flooded around here. There's uh, people having to be moved out. Uh, it's just, was, it has been awful. Schools were delayed today. I know a little town, Evansport, that's where Brad lives, that build some of our our um, cat furniture. He said there's only was one road available for them to get out of Evansport to drive out of Evansport. So tomorrow will be better though. It'll be okay. But Kitty City is doing good. It's all cleaned up. Um, looks well. And uh, it's doing fine. Just in case you guys saw this morning Octavia. Octavia got royal mad at us today. Uh, she's got I think it's her left ear. She has an ear infection in it. Yeah, it's not ear mice. It's ear infection. And so we got her down and cleaned it up, and she was not happy with me whatsoever. But she's forgiven me. I left her steal one of her little packets of food, so that's good. Now, I've got some, some of your questions. Let me change one thing here. Sorry, Bat. He's chopping everybody's heads off. Oh, oh average 200 inches a year. That's incredible. Um, I didn't talk about Sarah yet, Queen, but, um, yeah. was there something you wanted in particular about Sarah? About Sarah, Queen? <laughs> Come here, what are you doing? Um, Sarah's doing great. I think some of you were worried or wondering about her um, being on my back again today. She still does do that, especially when I'm at my desk, she'll get on my back. Um, I know I saw Putter a little bit ago. Um, Oh, this is uh, one of our new girls. We'll test you guys again tonight. Do you know which one this one is? Yeah, that's Praline. Yeah, I. that's right. I did see you wrote that. No, she hasn't had any seizures. She's doing good. I just am so happy for her, and i got to give her meds yet tonight. She's sleeping right now. Her and Tween... We need lay in the basket there a lot, and they butt their heads together while they're sleeping. I'll get you a question here. Yeah, Queen, I see now. I did have you down first about Farah, and then 
adore, rhymes with measure, as what we look for in adopters? And that's a really good question. I haven't had that one asked before. There's a lot of stuff. First off, uh, they all have to comply with the kitties have to be 100% indoors. They have to have a vet already lined up. If they're new pet owners, they have to have contacted a vet and that vet be agreeable to take them on. They have to um, know that if they can no longer keep the cats that they adopt from here, whether it's, and I always tell them, whether it's two days, 20 years, good reason, no reason, bad reason, the kitty has to come back here to the rescue center. If they have children that are real small, um, <laughs> that are real small, anywhere from, usually I start worrying when they're like 13, 14 months to about four and a half or so, they cannot adopt the wee babies like Weasley size, they, they get squished and we don't want that to happen. Um, there, if there's two stories, they need to have litter boxes on both stories. Uh, there's just so many things. If it's a kitten, are they home very much? We don't want kitties to be in houses where nobody's there at all. Or they have to, I encourage them to do two kitties. Um, they, I, I always talk about the food, you know, that we encourage people to use the dry food that has the meat as the first ingredient, which we've talked about that. We always talk about the, dry, the canned food, um, the cleanliness of the litter box. There's so many things that we go over. Uh, I, I'm hoping that I kind of covered some of the things that you were asking or thinking about. Um, but we're very careful where they go, and a lot of it is just chit-chatting with them and how responsible they are. And with some of the other things is if they're committed to the kitty being a family pet, not just there, but being an actual family pet. And then what happens if, say, the cat should break a leg? Are they financially uh, capable of getting the cat into a vet? Do they do flea prevention? And we encourage that, of course. And what kind? Then we always mention don't buy it in a store. Always go to your, your vet. Um, that's why it takes me so long to do adoption. There are so many things to go over, but I, yeah, I am fussy and I don't care. There are people I turn down and these kitties mean the world and me and to, to volunteers and to you guys. And uh, the purpose of adopting them is not to get rid of them. I never, I hate that when people say I have to get rid of this or that. It's to find them a home. And it's not to see how fast we can pump them out of here. I don't do that. It's to find them good homes. So I'm really, I am careful. Um, loose kitties, and I might have not written that down right. Asked about all the extra bananas, the banana catnip toys that we get if we freeze them or something uh, to keep them fresh. They stay fresh. But, you know, with this many kitties here, we go through so many. The toys, especially the catnip toys, go so very, very fast. And even those those uh, catnip ones that we got last week, I wish I could find one right away, uh, they're already getting slobbery. And, uh, and these guys, that, that canvas on those banana ones are really tough, but they still chew holes in them eventually. They're, these guys, I, think, I really think that all those toy stores out there should... Let us try all the toys and we'll let them know if they're cat safer and cat safe and how tough they are. So we have no trouble uh, using up all of our toys here because there are so many. And remember, we also share the toys with uh, Kitty City out there. DeWitt asked about feeding the dry and the canned food and when. I should have written down more on that. Just kind of give you a quick... Uh, run down the <laughs> Come on, let's move this. Come on, back to the center. A little quick rundown on how we do our foods here.
Thank you. Um, thank you. We, we keep out, of course, and we encourage all of our cat owners or adoptees, here's your brother, to uh, keep um, dry cat food out 24-7, and we even tell them water 24-7. I mean, that's pretty obvious. And then the canned food, we highly encourage canned food to be fed to the kitties, and our vets encourage us to encourage the canned food. There's a lot of protein in it. There's a lot of water in it. And especially if you have boy cats, you want to encourage that water consumption because, and I've mentioned it before, their little urethras are smaller than the girls, and they can, uh, boys tend to get uh, the little um, crystals deposits. And if you've ever had a boy cat plug up, you never want it to happen again. It's sometimes genetic, sometimes food-related, sometimes stress-related, but by giving them the canned food, that more water is being consumed and it does keep those crystals moving. In here, we've never ever had a cat plug and I hope to never have that happen in here. I've had my personal cat a long time ago, but um, our vets believe that if we can use the can, it helps keep the crystals going. And there's also less calories in can, so we feed can a lot. Uh, and the reason for that, too, is, is because we have so many kitties, especially this time of year. In the dead of winter, when there's not so many um, babies, we do cut back on the canned uh, food a lot. But we encourage all kitties, like, you know, all the kitties, like, say, six, seven months and younger, to have, I ask them to feed them three times a day with the canned food. And the adults, the older ones, if you take a frisky size per cat, divide it in half, we ask them to give morning, a half in the morning and a half in the evening. So that's how we do it. And it just seems like <laughs> that's good. I'm glad, Stinky, that your cats haven't had any problems. Um, it's really awful when they do plug up because they have a tendency to, to plug again. And, boy, that can be a life and death matter. So I hope you went. I answered your question. Siamese, Mish, I did not call Cobbett and Hudson's owners. I've got their numbers out. I meant to do it. Today has just completely gotten away away from me. Got a lot done, but, man, this day went so fast. I, I have not accomplished everything I wanted to do. ABQ Cat asked, what food do... Oh, what food do we need the most? I always feel funny telling you guys this, but if you ask, I'll tell you. Um, we, the only... Um, the only fancy feast we have right now, I think I've got two dozen, no, I have two uh, cases of um, kitty fancy feast and the three cases, the three cases that we got a fancy feast last night, that's all we have. But we'll, we'll get some tomorrow. I have to go get some tomorrow. And then, <laughs> oh, and then baby food, the jars, uh, we, we're, I think, almost out of those. Actually, we are out of those, so I'll pick up a few tomorrow as well. Um, that's probably, those are definitely our two highest needs right now. Goss asked about Patty Case. Oh, if I've noticed him peeing since... The ruckusy kitties had left, or the little bossy ones had left. Yeah, baby food. Yeah, Diane. Hi, Diane again. Um, yeah, we do the baby food that the real babies eat, the meat. Uh, I have not seen Patty Cake do that since then, and I haven't gotten any reports from anybody saying they have seen Patty Cakes do that since those couple kitties left. So... I'm assuming they haven't. I haven't found any 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 inappropriate potting anywhere. So I don't know. I don't see anybody popping up there and telling me that they've seen it. So I hope not. I hope not. And I bet was asked about what we get ready for the holidays. If you mean in here, normally we don't do too much um, because. There's not a lot of kitty safe decorations that I can find, but Linda or Clem 
and Judy and I have talked about something that we might do. So I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be a surprise for you webcamers to see. And uh, we're going to work on something that might be fun for the kitties and fun to see and fun for you guys to see. No news on the goose. I don't have another goose up update. Dutch asked whiskers or friskies. friskies. I'm not sure exactly what Dutch meant by that. If we like Whiskas or Friskies, um, we use both a lot. The cats love them both. So I'm not sure if what the what that part meant, but um, we use both of them equally. The cats love them equally. So either's good. We like them both. And Diane, thank you. You asked me about Aprilla. She's still eating today. It still is mostly the gravy or the juice that's on on the um, food but she is acting like she's feeling a little better so I'm going for it she I go in and she just row, 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 you know, like she always does and it's like oh my gosh this girl must be eating I'm every time I go in I'll feed her something she's so thin so very thin but I'm trying to trying to give her as much as what she'll take so that's all that I have I do did want to mention one thing just in case you didn't read the blog today I just want to caution people and I did verbally talk about it last night and I did mention it on the blog today I just want people to realize that um, everything that you write on the cam is visible here in this rescue center it, we have a big TV screen it's about this big about that wide and half of it is the picture of the cam that you see and half of it is a big screen of um, your, the chat line so whatever you guys write on it is visible here so I always want to caution people to be really considerate because I know it's easy to sit at home and just type and say things but you have to remember if there's things that are inappropriate whether it's children um, reading it here or children reading it at home or our visitors here reading it or our own volunteers reading it I just don't want any feelings hurt we have to remember there's a lot of you people out there and I'm grateful and I'm very thankful for every single one of you but we have to always remember um, to be considerate and if you think if you have something that you're not sure of um, feel free to email me I try real hard to keep up on my email and um, to answer everybody and I'm always open with everything I try to be very honest with everything so if you have a concern or something feel free to email me uh, I don't always get all my PMs because if we reboot or something I lose all of my PMs so if you have a concern do email me and uh, I'm glad you guys are with us I love having you guys all here and you know the thing is when we have so many people involved here uh, there's always all of us have different opinions of everything but I think cat I think cat lover people generally are very very kind and we all want to please and we all want to just be here for the good of the rescue center so all in all I think everything's going really good we just have to remember just to always remember whatever you type is seen by everyone that's here if we're reading it so Jackie's barking isn't she <laughs> what is she doing wanting a treat oh, wow. <laughs> <enough after. laughs> oh I love her so does anybody else have any other questions or anything I'll be glad to see if I can get another question in if you need anything I think our map mods are wonderful yep we've got what is that like seven or eight mods and they're all wonderful yeah that's jazzy barking so <laughs> I just backtracked a little bit Nuki you're fine Poopy has an appropriate word. <laughs> you guys are all awesome.
Yeah, you can still pick on feline too, kitty. And I know you will, Duet. Everybody is really, really, for the most part, very, very respectful. Well, Tommy, we've got something up our sleeve. It's not... Well, I'm not going to say yet. <laughs> I'm going to surprise... We're going to surprise you guys. We got something... We got something planned. I'm just catching up on what you guys were writing. Aww, that's so nice. You guys are wonderful. I think what DeWitt said and D.L. Menzer said is absolutely right. If you question what you're going to say, then maybe don't say it. And always just think before you type. Tonight, hammock and wheel. Okay, all right, you got it. What do I want for Christmas? Lots of good homes. Lots and lots and lots of good homes. Little green toy with a ball. You mean that square thing, butterfly? That square little green toy? <laughs> Yuki, you got to come and visit. I think you, I think we would get along great. Sometimes people just put to cats and it still gets here. Yeah, Nuki. Shoot for it. Shoot for it. Um, that would be great for April. <laughs> but I probably think it's strapped as Santa. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. Okay, I'm going to um, get a little bit of work done here, and we'll get things set up. I made a Weasley movie. Did you see that? No, where is it at, Funky? Is it on the Facebook? <laughs> Uh-oh, Carrie, that sounds scary. Weasley movie was great. I'll have to look for that. See Bella and Asha. 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 Okay. Bella and Asha. Sam, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, you're done off that? Mm -hmm. I don't need you to put trash cans in the dog kennel. Trash cans? Those white, those white bags. Anyhow, I came out of Cat's Cold. He came into the spray and he was terrible. What has a bag? And I read a shirt and I thought, oh my gosh, she's not at all. And she's in there. Everybody that knows her. She was trying. She was trying. Is that a white bag? No, no. The white, white garbage can with dog string. That's why it's very nice. Oh, no. And she had her. You mean it was over that gate? Over, over, over where they go then? Yeah. Really? No. There was two of them. Yeah. And I thought, oh, they're in the garbage can. They each had the red straw. Or she put. Oh, they're on the back. She couldn't get out. Yeah. And so that's why she was so wild and frightened. Oh my gosh, thank goodness she went out when you did. Yes, I thought, oh my gosh, did she show them how long she's been in there? Here's Bella. Night, Deborah. Bye. Oh my gosh, we love Bella. Do you love me, your mama? 
think that was a yeah. Are you, why are you, did something hurt? Let me check your boo-boo. Let me check your boo-boo. I'm going to clean up and uh, hope you guys have a good evening. If I could pick this up and show you guys. There's two babies. Uh, or, um, Emmeline and who we got here? Peverly. Aw, oh, here, Peverly. I'll put you back. You're all welcome. Thank you for being here with us. Here's another cute one. Aren't they all cute, though? And Sarah, yes, we need to give you your medicine. Sarah, are you getting a bath by Trini? Oh, oh my gosh. You know what? You guys are just too cute. That wasn't a treat. Okay, kiddos, let's get cracked.